Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 103. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Tricks 101 to 106. Hey, in this video here, we are going to see how to take a list of numbers and count how many of each unique value there are. So it looks like there's four 77s. Count them, figure out what percents of each there are, and then make a pie chart. Now I'm going to do this pretty fast. And this is going to involve advanced filter, count if, a bunch of formulas, and a pie chart. If you want to see a, a slower, more detailed um, description of this that goes across four videos, uh, you, there's always notes at the top and reference videos. All right, the first thing we need to do is we need to um, extract a unique list here. So we're going to use advanced filter. I'm going to highlight this range right here. And then in Excel 2003, you go to the data menu, filter, and then advanced filter. In 2007, you go to data, and then advanced filter. This pops up, and it looks like it got the right range. We want to copy it to another location because we want to extract the unique records and put them right there so we can count how many there are of each. Criteria range, you don't need that for uh, unique records because you click this box. That is the criteria. And then copy to. I'm going to click in this cell right here and click OK. Now we're going to use a count if function here. Highlight the whole range. And in the light colored cell at the top equals count if. And the range is going to be this whole range. I did a small one so it could fit on the screen, but obviously this could be much larger. And then hit the F4 key to lock it, comma, and the criteria is going to be that value one cell to my left. Close parentheses. And then because I've highlighted the range up front to enter the formula into all the cells, hold Control and tap Enter. Now I'm going to add these up. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for auto sum, Alt equals, and then Enter. Now I'm going to highlight this whole range right here and create a percent formula. The light colored cell up at the top is the active cell, equals one cell to my left, divided by E13, and I'm going to hit my F4 key, and I'm going to hit it twice, because I want it locked as it goes across the rows. Now I've highlighted everything up in advance, so I hold Control and tap Enter. I pre-formatted that as percent. Now we can make a pie chart. I'm going to click in this cell right here and type scores. And I want to make a pie chart from uh, these values right here and these values right here. But how do I highlight? I highlight the first little um, set of cells and then hold Control. And then I'm allowed to hi highlight two ranges that are not next to each other called a, a non-contiguous range. And then in uh, 2003, you got to click on the Chart Wizard and then pick Pi in step uh, one. Uh, in 2007, you got to click on Insert, Charts, Pi, and we're going to select that one right there. I'm going to have to uh, decrease the size of this. You can see if I point to the edge of a chart, I see a diagonally pointing arrow. I'm going to hold Shift to move it proportionally and then click and drag in. Now I can point to the edge, and when I see that cursor right there with a four-way pointing arrow, I can uh, move it, or point to the edge and move it. Now I'm going to get rid of these right here, click and delete. And in uh, 2003, you have to add labels with uh, in step three of the wizard. And actually, it's a lot easier uh, in uh, the wizard for adding labels and uh, uh, chart titles and all that. In 2007, you have to do a lot more clicks. I'm going to go out to layout. Oh, those are context sensitive ribbons that show up. And I'm going to do uh, data labels. I'm going to click down here, More Labels. And I want to say that I want to see a uh, percent. Uh, and we got a, our 76 values and a percent, and that's fine. So we have the percent and the value. Uh, notice that in 2007, it shows up right away. And there's this Close button right here. So there you go. That's how to make a, a simple uh, pie chart using from a data set, advanced filter, count if, and uh, some formulas. All right, we'll see you next trick.